right I'm back with you now I've got this um, I think somebody sent me it last year and I thought I might as well do it we're doing Christmas bits but what I've got are some they're just oddments that I've cut like when I've cut the flower out of that which I'm going to continue to do uh, but as you know fee fee waste nothing so I'm going to keep the flower and just use this for my project like that because you can do them anyhow you want now do I want it like that I like it like that to be honest so yeah that's the centre which is that there so I'm just going to follow the line that's down the shoe right where were we I think this is on now I was just about to pop this onto the boot lining that up properly pull that down slightly and then it's just a case of gluing these bits on around there like that that's fine um, and the thing is, because they were stained these bits, I thought, well, I can't sell them, but um, I'm not going to waste them either. And so that's why I cut them to use. Now, that's not quite even, but hey ho. And it's doing me head in. <laughs> so I'm going to have to redo that bit. Do it again, mate. Want it pulling down a little bit. That's better. Yeah, I can live with that. Uh, and we're going to paint them, you see, so... See, that way, that way, that way, that way. So if I have... Just making sure I get them even-ish. There. See, like that. Make sure that's uh, okay. Like I say, we just put a little dob of glue. You don't need much. Like that. And then we can do the same around the back and it's using all these oddments up and uh, I'm quite happy with that. Just put them around the heel. Yeah, I think we'll do it like that. That'll be fine. There is a right and wrong way to these. Um, there is to all doilies, I don't know if people know that. And it's hard sometimes to get it just right. Like that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't, don't know why it doesn't seem right, but hey, uh her. -huh, we'll just chop off what we don't need. <coughs> don't know why. They're the same amount on both sides. It's just not showing. Uh, not going on perfect. But hey, ho. There used to be a song, didn't there? Hey ho, away we go. Donkey riding, donkey riding. Oh, I haven't heard that for years. Hey, hey ho. Riding on a donkey. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> I don't care. I really don't care. Right, I'm going to do it like this this time to get that right. 
yeah try and bring that over to this side like that methinks and do the same again with this one yeah see I like that and then see what I'm going to do with mine is mine's a shabby sheet oh no you have to be on one side doesn't it yeah mine's going to be a shabby sheet boot I want to look at my tree and see where it's going to sit I know exactly where it's going to go and that has to be on that side but what do I want next I think I'm going to use one of these so let me find one that doesn't have a mark on it. Right. I'm not going to do it yet because that's going to go there. And then that will say, oh that's going to look lovely isn't it? But first we got to paint this. So let me move on my little bits and pieces I don't need over there out the way got my brush got a bit of tissue to clean my brush short oh still got the bit of pink on now do i want it to be um black to match all the others i actually do like the black baubles and then i can cover them in silver and whatever so that is what i'm going to do and I'm just going to shift all that to one side and uh, pour a little bit of black out. Oh, there we go. Just move on my bits. And we're going to paint the whole thing black because then I can enhance it however I want. Now, it might need a couple of coats on the, the actual plastic but not fussed about that do you know what I like doing um, I like seeing them pop I like seeing the patterns on the um, laces and that that I use pop it's just so nice There we go. And what I'm going to do, I might just try and dry it off as I do it. Because um, I need to get on and get this finished. Like that. So just pop a little bit more black. Yeah, I kind of like that. That looks good. I'm just going to dry a little bit of this off. Um, pop a little boot down a minute. And plug in. There we go. Hopefully we can get this done in one video. I hope you're seeing this. Right, 
Now, I'm not that fussed about the this being dry yet. As long as I can grip the boot and finish it off, that would be great. See? Yeah, although it's nice to have bright baubles on and things like that, I like the vintage look, to be honest, a lot more. And the vintage ones weren't that bright, they were, you know, quite darkish. I hope it's a lot brighter today on the video because yesterday I don't know what happened. It um the video went dark. It's probably my settings, but hey ho, we got there in the end. And thanks to those that um there was a couple that put thumbs down. Are you not happy people? Is there something wrong with you? Are you on your own? Nobody paying attention to you. Bless. <laughs> the Marvel, just because um, they didn't like the bauble, there's no need to put a thumbs down. Just don't. This, I just don't get it. I watch loads of videos that I, when I get a chance to, that I don't like, but I never give them a thumbs down. I just think there's some really. Lonesome people. Sad. So I'll probably get thumbs down for this one now. <laughs> oh dear. It's not me, it's just that other people might be offended by it or, you know, um, you don't think about what you're doing when you do it, that you might be upsetting those that uh, find it very hard to communicate with anybody. And, uh, and so their only lifeline is... You know, the internet and you putting the thumbs down. Thankfully, I can tuck it. I've got broad shoulders. But I just feel sorry for the other people that it really puts them off. But then we've got some really sick wackos in the world today, haven't we? That don't care about anybody. They're just internet trolls behind the keyboard because they certainly couldn't face you. They haven't got the balls for that. Hey ho, poor buggers. I might as well just do the, the little fastener as well. There's a couple of spots I've just seen. Let's go over that. I'm going to be doing this in silver anyway, so I'm not fussed about that. Um, try and clean some of this up. Okay, love that. And like I say, my theme is uh, black and silver. So, um, although I've got a little bit of red on my tree, I'm just going to pop this bit back. Now, you all know me, I don't waste nothing. Ever. And that little bit can go a long way. There we go. 
I'm just going to clean the end off because look how bad it gets. It gets really bad. See, and then we can't shut it. Oops, there's the other bit. That's why it won't shut. Much better. Right, so now I've got my boot. I'm just going to wipe that off a little bit. Or we'll clean it later. There we go. Now, silver. Where's my silver fixative? I'm using the Adirondack. I do need my little uh, sponge. Yeah, that'll do. So I just pop that onto my sponge. I'm not putting much on. And then what I'm going to do is just go over the lace. And you do start to see it pop. Need a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully, you're seeing this. Sorry if you're not. Like that. See how it makes it pop. I'm just going to do all the other bits. making this pop like I say oops don't want to go over too much it doesn't matter if you do go over it a little bit we don't fuss doesn't it make it look lovely though what a difference and then like I say we're just going to do the toe bit and the heel Like that. A little bit for the toe section. I'm just going to turn that other way around. I'm covered in black paint. Just to get the little sections at the front. Lovely. Looks really pretty. And I'm not just going to... Well, I don't know. I might... <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> that I should do it. But I'm going to just do a couple of dabs. It is... Um, Christmas after all. So we do want it looking pretty. Yeah. Because it is hanging on the Christmas tree. So what I'm going to do is just a little dab more. And just to brush the edge. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? And then around the very edge of the boots. 
You don't have to overdo it. I'm going to do the heel. Yeah, just don't overdo it. Oh, that's lovely. Do you know what? I think next year we'll do a series on uh, doing your own Christmas baubles. Uh, you know. Mind you, I shouldn't have said that because I'll be doing it now. <laughs> Joking. God, there'll be somebody whinging. <laughs> oh, I, I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, like I say, I did want my boot um, to be facing that way. So this now has to... See, I think that's way too big because you're not going to see the boot. Do you know what? I, I, I like it like that and I might just put a little bit of bling on there. That's where it's going to go, there. So, let me just get this put on. Okay. So we're going to have that just there, I think. Yeah. I think that's it. Isn't that gorgeous? It really doesn't need anything else, but I might just put a bit of bling. So, let's have a look, see what we've got. I could use my trim, you know. I might just use my trim. Because I absolutely love this stuff. And when I say use the trim, I'm going to use it on there. Just on there, on all of them, to bling that up. Oops, make sure that brings that in there. like that see isn't that gorgeous I've not quite got that bit there I'm just gonna set that in it might still be a little bit wet but it doesn't matter it'll go in that's it yeah I do like that so that means we have to do it across the heel Set that going. Get that on there, mate. Like that. Not quite sure if it's uh, dry enough, but it'll it'll do. It'll dry. Yeah, do we need a bit on there? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to glam it up. Why not? Why not? There we go. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Just going to do... It is. It's really cute. My glammed up Christmas boot. Why not? Now, I could have put a pearl on or anything like that, but I've chosen to actually... Just use the pearl and bling. I could have used just the pearl string, but I wanted to use a little bit of glam on this. Sorry if I'm in, out of frame. Do 
No, that's not quite where I want it to be. That is. Like that. Oh, that's really pretty. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I'm not sure if I should do around that. No, that's too much. No, I like it like that. And because I love my bling, I'm going to choose three um, I can find them. One, two, and one more. Three. Uh, they're gold. I wanted silver. I got silver. No, it doesn't matter. We can put them on. I'm just going to add. A silver one there. And then <sighs> Yeah, just that. And there you go. And that's my little boot. That I now need my bit of um, wire. Where did I put my wire bit? Uh, oh, I think I've, I've put it away. But I will be getting my little bit of wire now. Oh, no, I've got it here. I've got it here. So, again, just same as we did yesterday. We take a strand about, it's about 10 inches. Because this all depends on how long you want yours. I like mine just a short way from the branch. Twist, thread one piece back underneath and back through and then you just twist that all again and lay it to one side. And there you go, that's my Christmas bauble. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.